Hi, welcome back to Community Hotline. I'm Monica Weitzel, and we're here at Metro East Community Media in Gresham. And with me tonight, for my very last guest, is Tim Park, who is one of my regulars <laughs> here. Tim, from the Sandy Actors Theater and Readers Theater of Gresham, thanks for being here. Thank you, okay. again and again. Again, well, you know, it's nice to have you here, and you always have new productions, new things going on, so we need to hear, you know, what's going yes, on. Yes, there's always something. So this year, this season, you have the Sunshine Boys, that's our last show this season that at Sandy. Fabulous yes. one. You're the producer of that one. I'm the producer, which means I get to do anything that has to be done that doesn't get done. <laughs> yes, and that's, that's exactly believe right. Believe it or not, there's all sorts of things every day that, that come done. up. So tell me a little bit about the production of The Sunshine Boys. Well, Sunshine Boys is by Neil Simon. It is one of his classic comedies, um, one of the funniest ones he's ever written, I think. And it's about two old vaude vaudeville stars by the name of Lewis and Clark. <laughs> oh, that's a reason. So, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they haven't spoken to each other for 11 years. They had a falling out. And now um, Willie Clark's nephew, Ben, is trying to get them to reunite for a TV comedy special. Uh, that's and a great story, isn't it? Yes, the things that go on between them. And Neil Simon is at his tops. Yeah, he is. I on think that's one show. of my favorites of, of his. Yeah. Uh, so you're not in this one. You're you're the producer. You're actually, not actually. I'm in it this much. You have a cameo. Or are yes. you doing your? Uh, I, I know, am. Alfred Hitchcock. I am, you're <laughs> well, in, yeah. in, in, according to the the script, I am man. Man. <laughs> <laughs> What's your part of this? I'm man. They okay. do. They do a sketch, a comedy sketch for um, a rehearsal for the yeah. TV show. And there has to be a patient that comes oh. in there in this uh, in this doctor scene, and I'm the patient. Ah, you can't, and he, just, he you can't sticks, be patient. You have to be man, though. Yes, <laughs> he sticks the, um, you know, a stick Tongue down it. Thing. Yeah, but yeah. they don't call it that. It's no. a look stick. A look stick. Okay. Yes, down his throat, and he ends up swallowing it. Oh, the man geez. ends up swallowing it, and <laughs> so that that's my that's your that's your big three guy. minutes of fame. Yes. Wow. Wow. So. <laughs> Um, tell I don't me. really swallow it, by oh, the way. Oh, thank you. Thank you for <laughs> thank sharing you. that. Yes. Yeah, you don't want to demonstrate it for <laughs> us here today. So tell me um, about Berta Limbaugh. Der Berta is the director of the Sunshine Yeah, Berta's Boys. been around with Sandy Actors Theater for off and on for probably 20 years. Wow. She has acted. She's directed. Um, she's on the board. She does all sorts of things. And she was in, she was one of the leads in the show we did couple um, times ago, which was in February, called The Last Romance, mm -hmm. and she is directing Sunshine Boys. Yeah. Actually, Sunshine Boys also came, the reason we chose it, it came out of Gresham Reader's Theater. Oh, that, in that's fact, right. That was we one did have one. that as yes. a Reader's Theater yes. last year, and it was the most attended one we ever had, and we decided to do it. You yeah. really have a, a great following. People love that. Yeah, it's been it's been very successful. Very good. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, how do you choose your? How do you choose what plays you're going to do? Uh, well, eeny, we try. Eeny, miny, no, take them out of a hat. What? It takes a long time and a lot of reading and a, a lot of people with a lot of different feelings putting their heads together. Yeah. But yeah, one thing we on. always <laughs> try to do is try to take a temperature of the audience because there's some things that aren't going to play as well here as they maybe would maybe in the, the yeah in in Portland oh, or you know oh, okay that's interesting so, um, we know our audience yeah i bet you do and we try to you know do things that people will want to come to that's interesting i guess i after knowing the the shows that you've done i can kind of see that there's sort of a, a flavor Perhaps to the to the. Yeah, we try to do classic do. things too. Yes, yes. Not all. We yeah. always and intersperse you, you, it with something new. Well, you tend to have some classics and some that are not so well known, mm -hmm. and and I kind of like that that um, mixing it up a little bit. That's always the case. What's yep. the favorite? What's the favorite one that you've ever acted in? What's your favorite that one? That I've acted in. Uh -huh. oh, Can you think? My. <sighs> or favorite part that you played. In Sandy, I would say probably the musical comedy Murders of 1940. Oh, because I, I got to pay, play this um, 
pretty effeminate, well, guy that um, really went crazy. Oh, well, I and think that's I perfect just for thought, you. Yeah. <laughs> you need to let go of the part now, Tim. <laughs> yeah, his, the climax of the, of the scene was when he fell on the floor and got into a fetal position. So oh, no, some, some. I love it. I love it. Okay, you're not really crazy, but that sounds <laughs> okay. like fun. I mean, what a great thing to be able to do, to be acting, to be producing, and you direct also. You, yes. do, you do a little bit of everything. Uh, too much. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So tell me, um, Midsummer Let, Night, let me ahead. tell you, uh, just we have a great cast okay, on tell me about Sunshine the Sunshine Boys. I'm just amazed. We, get, we have a man named Joe Silver who has acted in LA and San Francisco and various other places. And he's um, formed his own companies and he wanted to do this part so much that he's driving from Beaverton. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a little bit of a drive, know, To do it. it. Yeah. Um, and he's playing Willie Clark. And then we have one of our veteran actors, Jim Bumgardner, who lives here in oh, Gresham, yes. Yes. who's been in a number of shows and who's from Northern Virginia, where he acted quite a lot. And then we have a, a friend of mine, um, Craig Williams, who has acted in Canby and Hillsboro and Beaverton, and I've Told him, we them need in. you to come in. out, and so he's the three of them together. The chemistry is wonderful. Oh, good, good. So, so it's a good cast. Yes. Good cast. Okay. Go on. Okay. Yeah. I, I was going to say you also are doing now that that's the end of May, but you're also doing um, the Mid, a Midsummer Night's Dream. Yeah. Now is Sunshine that Sunshine Boys is May 31st through June 23rd in okay. Sandy. Okay. Midsummer Night's Dream is part of our last production of our Reader Theater season here okay. in Gresham. Okay. And that's on Monday, May 20th. Okay, and, and I understand we do have some pictures here. So um, if we can bring those up, you can tell me what we're looking at on those. We do, great. Yes. Um, this, well, this is Sunshine Boys. Okay. So, um, and so who is that, this, Dylan? This is Joe Silver, who's okay. playing Willie Clark, and this is the older nurse who's sort of setting him in his place, and he obviously is not very happy about that. <laughs> so, do we have another one? Yes, we do. Um, ah. This is Joe and Jim uh, playing Willie Clark and Al Lewis and just a little bit of the confrontation they, d they get into. <laughs> uh -oh. This is the <laughs> other nurse uh -oh. uh, who, um, uh, she's, is, yes, she's, she's kind of spunky. <laughs> she's spunky. How's that? <laughs> Um, that he, he, likes her he better. employs, and he definitely likes her better. And this is my friend Craig, who's playing Ben, um, Willie Clark's nephew, who really is the protagonist trying to get this whole thing going and uh, great, to the, great. get him together. Fun, fun cast. Now, I'm, I'm assuming when you're working on a play like this and you're an actor in it, that it takes up a huge amount of time. Do they, when they're when they're not in this, do they come to watch your other plays? Do the other pe do the cast members come and watch the other plays and that they're not in and support you it that way? Like say Jim Baumgartner. Yes. Does he he yeah. comes and watches the other plays yes. and supports they you they like come. that? Yeah. Because yes. then there's a lot of crossover. They'll play. I mean, there, you have some guys that are just regulars. It seems like. Oh, uh, we have some. Yeah, in in the board members and the people in the artistic team. Do all sorts of I bet, things. I bet. Yeah, you get to be a jack of all trades, huh? Well, you try to be. <laughs> you try to be. Right now, I'm trying to coordinate the building of the set. I was just going to say, you get out there building the set. <laughs> That's not my forte. <laughs> it wouldn't be mine. But it's either. working. Good, good. <laughs> Have some good people. Good. Okay, tell me about a Midsummer Night's Dream. Obviously, that's. Okay, that is our last um, Reader Theater this year, and it's going to be really different. Oh, really? It is going to be a different wild, production than. Wild. Oh. It's being done by a company called Original Practice Shakespeare, which is out of Portland. I've worked with them myself. And back in, they, they do Shakespeare in the way Shakespeare was originally performed. Um, people did not uh, memorize their whole parts. They didn't even get their, the whole script of the play. Because if you passed, at that time there weren't any copyright laws mm -hmm. or anything like that that would protect your creation, so you didn't just hand it to somebody, or he could go down the street and say, "Here's my play really? that I've written." Really, I didn't you know, know that. Yeah, and so all they got was just their lines, and like the three or four words of the cue before 
them. So they know when And because <laughs> when they were playing talking. oftentimes to the same people all the time, because, I mean, there was no TV or right, anything. Right, right. You know, it was Let's like see it again. You, they had to switch <laughs> yeah. plays all the time yeah. because to keep interest. So you, you really did, never knew what you were going to do. That's why Shakespeare wrote so many plays, yes. right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and so they'd get their... Um, oh, another thing is they didn't have electricity. They couldn't rehearse at night. So they'd, mm -hmm. they'd get their part in the morning. Mm -hmm. They'd rehearse the dances or the fights, things that mm -hmm. would take a little bit. And then they'd do it. <laughs> and Just like with that. A, with a scroll in hand, and that's where we get our term "role" as an actor's oh, role. That's your role. And huh. that's how it will be done for this. And I'll tell you, you have never seen Shakespeare like this. Really, it is. So it's it not is, following the script exactly. Oh, it's, it's following the script. It's, yes, it is. And everything that Shakespeare meant you to know is in the text. Huh? It tells you what to do if oh. you pay attention. Wow. Um, and these guys are really So this amazing. is a different company performing this. Well, yes, they're doing it for us at okay. Reader's Theater. It's because of the connection that I've nice. had with them. So that's at the Gresham Chapel. Yes. And downtown. Okay. Yes, just a few blocks from here. So you're winding up this season. What do you got going on for next season? And uh, when does that start? Next season starts September 14th. You don't get a lot of a break, do you? Nope. And do you spend no. that time looking at scripts and trying to figure oh, out what you want? Oh, no, you've already, way, you're already way, way done. Oh, yeah. Of course. We have auditions the end oh. of June for that Oh, play. really? Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, I guess that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, there's, there's not much time in between. Um, next season, we've entitled it Love, Lyrics, and a Little Lunacy. <laughs> and we have some classics. Sure it's only a little lunacy. Some yeah. real classics, and we're trying, uh, we're taking some new steps for Sandy and going into some things we've never done before. Um, first of all, we're starting out with probably one of the most classic comedies of all time, and that's Arsenic and Old Lace. Oh, uh, yes, that is. Okay, that's a good and one. then we're doing a, a new play called The Games of Foot, or Holmes for the Holidays. Oh. Sherlock Holmes, yes, in yes. other words. And it's written by Ken Ludwig, who um, wrote the, a play we did last year called Leading Ladies, mm -hmm. and he also wrote Lend Me a Tenor, and it is, it is a comedy mystery farce that entertains well, all the way through. Is it a holiday show? Will it, it takes place at Christmas. Okay. Um, I wouldn't say it's necessarily a Christmas story. Right, right. You know, but the setting yeah, is at Christmas yeah. time. Yes. Uh, and we're doing a play called Almost Maine about a little... Uh, town in northern Maine that you can really not find on the map. It's called Almost, uh, that, comma, Maine. <laughs> I love it. That's great. That's cute. And then we're doing the, one of the classics of all classics, and we're attempting and going to succeed in doing Shakespeare ourselves and do Twelfth Night. Oh, good for you. Then, for our last show, we're doing a musical, which is a first for Sandy. I was going to say, when you said lyrics in there, I yeah. wondered if you were going... And we're doing the longest running musical of all time, and that's The Fantastics. Oh, you know, I've never seen that. So, yeah, okay, put that on my, put that on my calendar. Well, that's going to be an exciting season. Yeah, it's a very it's challenging a lot. one. It's challenging. Yeah. It's got a lot of variety. Yeah, good, good. What's it, what are you looking forward to the most? That's a hard thing for me to say <laughs> right at the moment. Okay. Well, I, won't, I don't I won't think I'm going to go there I won't yet. Pin you down. Okay. <laughs> ask me next year. Okay. Well, we're about out of time, Tim. But thank you so much. Uh, you know, you you always have a, a great lineup and a fun stuff to look forward to. If there's not something that somebody likes this this month, next month it'll be different. And you know, there's. It's something for everybody. And that's the idea. Yeah. And we are selling season passes at, okay. our, at the Sunshine Boys, and they're they're discounted Good. during the run of the Sunshine okay. Boys. Okay. So for more information, go to your website. Yes, and okay. come to the show. Okay. Great. Thanks very much. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for watching Community Hotline tonight. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks, Tim Park, for being my guest here tonight. As always, it's always a pleasure to have you here. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you next week. I'm Monica Weitzel, and this is Community Hotline.